It's time for a total recall. And no, I am not talking about the 1990 sci-fi flick that happened to have a dude that became the governor because of a recall election. No. I'm talking about this. California gubernatory recall election. That's right. Our governor, Patrick Bateman, uh, Gavin Newsom, not that picture, show the other one. There we go. Governor Gavin Newsom is set to be recalled. Now, contrary to what you may have thought, I'm actually here to tell you why I think Governor Newsom is an amazing person and a fantastic governor. For starters, one of my favorite things Governor Newsom did that really, I feel, shows his true character and nature was back in early 2000 when he was the mayor of San Francisco, his campaign manager's wife actually wanted to sleep with him. Who wouldn't? So Gavin Newsom, being the stand-up guy that he is, probably thought to himself, hey, this guy's my campaign manager. He's a close and dear friend. He helps me out. What better way to repay him than by putting my penis in his wife? So he did. What a truly stand-up guy. When the lockdown started, he told us all to stay indoors, stay away from our family. Don't go out. No indoor dining. Wear these things all the time. But Governor Newsom made a true sacrifice. He was photographed at the French Laundry, incredibly high-priced restaurant. Now you may be thinking, what a hypocrite. No, Gavin Newsom put himself on the line and put himself at risk while protecting the rest of us. What a true hero he is. Another great thing he did is when he shut down all the schools and ended in-school learning, he made sure to continue to send his kids to in-school private learning. Again, you may think, hypocrisy. No. He's putting his own children on the line while protecting our children. What a truly brave and stunning individual. When he shut down all of the businesses, decimating small businesses across California, many of which will never return, he made sure to keep his own winery in Napa open. Now that is a trooper. He put his own employees at risk to make sure other people around there can continue to enjoy his wine. Wow. Again, brave and stunning individual. Now you may be thinking, how could it possibly get worse than Governor Gruesome Newsom? And I'm glad you asked. Right here, we have the information packet for the recall election. So why don't we take a look at who might actually be able to replace old Governor Newsom's. Holly L. Bade, bad, I don't know. Democrat, leadership for a brighter tomorrow. Brighter's italicized, so you know she's serious about this matter. Wow, that really says a lot. All my questions have been answered. Heather Collins, Green Party. Green Party, kind of already said that, you didn't have to say it a second time. Immigrant small business owner. Okay, well, uh, your name's Heather Collins. Where did you immigrate from? Fucking Iowa? Oh, this one's good. Ang Angeline? Angeline? I, I really don't know. No party preference. Angeline, <laughs> this is what it says. Angeline Billboard Queen period, icon, period, experienced politician. I think what she meant to write was experienced politician. Jeremiah, Jeremy, Marcinaic. Wow, that's a cool nickname you got there. No party preference, search YouTube. That's what he, it literally says search YouTube. So basically you want me to do your job for you. I don't understand. These people pay to be in here and they don't write shit. Just search YouTube. Dan Cape Lovitz. I'm probably fucking that up. Green Party. Can you dig it? You know what? I'm going to be honest. Dan, I can dig it. So far, you've got my vote. We'll see who else is on here. I like the glasses, by the way. Those are fucking sweet swim goggles you got on there. Ooh, Chauncey Slim Killens. Republican. Vote for me, the people's governor. Alright, so my vote is now cast for Chauncey until someone better comes along. And Slim, I imagine this guy's got to be a pimp from San Francisco. Not knocking that profession, I think it's great. Public relations, awesome. Denver Stoner, Republican. I feel like he's just describing himself and didn't know he was supposed to put his name there. I don't know. Adam Papagan, no party preference. Love you. Aww. What a nice guy. John R. Drake, Democrat. John is a recent community college graduate with a degree in political science. His continuing educational focus is government and policy making. Wow, that sounds cool. The problem is you look like you're 16, dude. Not sure that I trust the state of California in your hands. 
Well, those were the fun ones, so there you have it. If you were thinking, how could it get worse than Gruesome Newsome? <laughs> you may be wrong. We'll get the billboard icon in there and see how things go from there. Thanks for watching. I'm out.